Michael Hogan is a photographer and a naturalist with the South Jersey Land and Water Trust. And today, he's teaching a group of local residents about local wildflowers and invasive plants at the Camden County Nature Center in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The class starts with Michael showing a slideshow of plants and talking with the group about them before leading a hike to find and identify notable plants around Cooper River. Last winter we came up with a talk and walk series uh, on first and third Sundays and we also have been doing them on Wednesday nights. Uh, the talks and walks are about different topics regarding the park. Uh, we talk about birds, wildlife, wildflowers, invasive plants, trees and shrubs, and we'll have a bunch of photography workshops coming up in the next two months. Uh, we did a walk today talking about summer wildflowers, and we also looked at a lot of the invasive plants in the watershed and along the stream and wetlands. Michael has worked with the South Jersey Land and Water Trust to create plaques throughout the trail, teaching people about the site's ecology. And he finds a wealth of plants here today. We saw a lot of native plants and trees, and we also saw many of the non-native plants and trees and shrubs like the Japanese knotweed and Asiatic dayflower and mile a minute weed. And it was just a, a great sort of uh, opportunity to show local residents what's native and what's not native, you know, what works well in your garden or your yard and what not to plant. Like the purple loosestrife we saw there is not a good plant to plant. Michael also works to assess and prevent invasive plant species through several parks and he finds a few species here today. Well, we have a lot of non-native plants. Some were introduced long ago, like English ivy that was probably bought over by the colonists. Uh, it sort of fits in with the other plants, and we have other invasive plants that just take over, like mile a minute weed, and Japanese angelica tree, and Japanese knotweed that, that were introduced from decades to 100 years ago, and once they get established, they just take over the environment. They crowd out the native plants and some places along the stream with the Japanese knotweed, it's just Japanese knotweed and no native plants at all. So it basically becomes a monoculture of stuff that was never there in the first place, which is not good for the health of the creek. The South Jersey Land and Water Trust is a nonprofit organization who works to preserve and protect the water and land resources throughout our area. And programs like this are just one way they achieve that mission. We do land preservation. We've preserved over 1,400 acres of farmland, mostly in Salem and Gloucester County. Uh, we do outreach. We do rain gardens. We do stream assessments. We do stream and lake bank restorations, macroinvertebrate surveys. We do all kinds of different things. Camden County has an extensive park system, and Michael encourages everyone to take advantage of the natural world around them. Well, we have a Camden County has a beautiful park system. Uh, I've been involved doing stuff with the county for the last 15 years, and I think it's great to get uh, residents out and walk their parks. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the parks trail systems, but are a lot or not. We've had a, quite a few folks that lived in the area and never walked around Hopkins Pond or never walked the trails along Park Boulevard, but drove past them every day for the last 40 years going to work. So it's, I think it's really great to bring the residents out to see what their tax money preserved and developed and pays for. Despite the hot temperature, all the residents enjoy their excursion and come away with more knowledge about protecting our environment. Well, we had a good turnout today despite the heat and humidity. And I think it's important for people. There's a lot of issues, as we talked about in the walk, about repairing buffers. Some people want everything chopped down around the streams and lakes. But it's sort of easy to to take people out and point and show them what the problem is and what things should be and what they shouldn't be as opposed to trying to tell them that at a meeting. So it's important to, to sort of to be able to point out to people like that's a native plant and that's an introduced plant and that's a really bad introduced plant that we should pull out right now. So they, they learn about their sort of environment and especially the, the younger people of the area.